Hey everybody, Steven here, and for today's video I'm going to show you three different stretches that you can do to help stretch out the TFL, which is the kind of on the front part of the hip here. So, getting this moving, a lot of times with people that have what we call glute amnesia, or maybe just glute weakness, where they're not using the glutes when they walk and all these other things from sitting too much and doing these activities that are taken away from that, the TFL, the front part of the hip, um, hip flexor TFL, end up, ends up trying to do all the work. So you're basically putting that knee into flexion where you're raising that knee up, right, a lot when you walk instead of using that glute. It gets tired, it's a small muscle, and now we get a lot of not only tension here, but perhaps on the lower back because it's pulling us forward like this, right? If so if that's tight and I'm standing upright and it's still creating that pull, a lot of that strain is gonna go to that lower back. And also, if you're doing your squats and you're noticing that as you're going down, you're getting a lot of tension here, that's one of those things where we need to do some of our stretching, and then we need to do some of our mobility drills, which I'll attach a video showcasing some of the mobility drills that you can do, and some of the soft tissue drills that you can do with this as well. So, first one that we're going to do, you're going to get into a shin box, or a figure four here. Okay, So this foot is stacked up on top of this one. If you have trouble with this position, don't worry because you will have your arm back behind you. You will be supported. A lot of people, when they're super tight through their hips, they'll actually be rounded like this in this position. And we kind of use that scale to keep the body upright. But like I said, with this, you're actually going to use this hand anyways. So as I'm here, this hand's going to draw back behind me like this. Okay. As far as the, the distance, it, you can scale that a little bit. I don't want to be crazy out here, right? I do want to be a little bit closer to my body, but I also don't want to be snug against my body, right? So I'm right here, directly behind kind of this glute on this side, right? Once I'm here, I'm going to take a deep breath in, draw that into the belly so we have the intra-abdominal pressure. I'm going to raise my hips up. So now I actually have uh, support here off my shins and my knees and with this hand. I'm going to take this arm and I'm going to draw it straight back. I'm going to get that stretch right through that front part. So I'm feeling that right through here. And then I'll draw it down. Hold wise, 5 to 10 seconds, right? And I'll show you from this angle as well. Coming up, drawing back, getting that stretch, holding, and then coming back down. I'll usually do that for reps as well. I'll get that good hold, but I'm usually doing about 5 to 10 cycles through that, right, or reps. So that's the first one. Obviously, you'll do both sides with that. So after that, we're going to square it up. You're going to be in a split kneeling stance here. We want to make sure that we're lined up with this so I'm not way off like this. Square it up. And once I'm here, I'm going to take my hands out directly in front of me. I want to make sure that I'm, I'm as close to neutral as I can get. So I'm not arching my lower back. I'm not leaning forward in this position. I'm just simply here. And then I'm going to rotate towards the leg that's out front. Deep breath. Create that intra-abdominal pressure. Rotate here. Kind of push into that stretch. Pause that 5 to 10 seconds. And then you'll come back. Same thing. I'm usually doing that for reps where I'm doing that about 5 to 10 times. And it's as I'm rotating and twisting that I'm getting that stretch through here. You can angle this back foot where you can turn it in, right? I can turn that in a little bit. I'm not going to go too extreme with this because that's really going to limit the amount of rotation that I can get out of that. But you can toy around with that. So slightly angled in for me, I do feel more. It's limiting that rotation. So now I'm going to get that deeper stretch right here. I won't go too extreme. Because for me personally, I'm not going to feel that more. At that point, there's too much restriction. And I'm not getting the stretch there like I want. I'm actually getting more of a stretch through my thoracic spine. Which I'm getting with this version anyways. But it just shifts most of that towards that and away from that hip and that TFL. So that's the second one. And then the third one. Still in that kneeling position. But now I'm going to draw the leg out way in front of me. So that I can actually shoot my hips forward like this. Okay. Back foot is flat. With this already just here, I'm feeling that stretch right through that front part. So for some people, this would be the scale. Maybe you're here. Okay. If I want to add a little bit extra into it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my arm here, not only for support, but also to make sure that my knee doesn't drop in. Deep breath in. I'm going to raise the arm up, and then I'm going to tilt 
away from that. And now I'm getting that even more. Same thing, five to ten, ten second hold. I'm going to show you from the front here. I'm squared up, right? We're not veered way off. Deep breath in. I want to make sure that as I draw forward into this position, this shin is vertical, by the way. I'm not held in close so that my knee is way over my toe. So I'm here, deep breath in, just holding this position, and then next one here, I'll draw up and I'll tilt a little bit to that side, and then I'll draw back. Be careful with this, and it's something I've been talking about a lot with my clients lately, which is this notion of most people, um, you have uh, like no pain, right, you're good, and then you have discomfort, and then you have pain. Uh, so comfort, discomfort, pain. A lot of people are sticking in comfort, and then when we do these stretches, they immediately go to pain, or at least they tell us about it. They're, they're not hanging around in that discomfort zone, right? Getting in that position, it, it's not comfortable, right? I'm getting a good stretch and I know I need it, but I'm not gonna push so hard that I was like, whoa, that's actually painful now. If you're doing that, right, you kinda need to reevaluate where you're at and scale back a little bit, right? Let's really hang out in that discomfort so that we can progress forward you push into pain and you end up injuring yourself, I mean, that's not really gonna help you right now that now you're actually creating a setback with all of that. So those are the three stretches. I'll usually do, like I said, those five to 10 reps um, or cycles with that, obviously hitting both sides. I just showed you the one side. I'll run through the whole thing once. That's it. So if I'm doing legs and it's already really, really tight, I'll do this to make sure that I open up those hips and really get a stretch on that TFL because if it's tight, it's going to affect my squat, my lunges, all these other movements is gonna affect that and I don't wanna get put in a position where now I'm experiencing pain or I'm having tension shift somewhere else that it doesn't need to be because my hips aren't moving and they're really, really tight. So that is it. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me and thank you so much for watching.